All right, guys, I got, I trimmed down this log. This is a short piece that was on the end of a 19 foot log. I needed 12 foot. So I ended up cutting 12 foot six and I cut six foot six on this one. So I have four sets of four inch wide, uh, four by 14 in there. So what I'm gonna do is trim two by fours off of here for this project. So here we go, guys.
All right, guys. So I just cut all them two by fours out of there. As you can see, I was taking out the ugly ones. So we got pretty many good ones. We got there's six, and then this whole section here there's five. That's 15. There's tw that means there's 21, and then maybe about 24 of them are actually fully good ones that are six footers, and then the rest are going to be like this one. This one has a nasty end on this side. Uh, I'll get a four foot out of that, but uh, this is going to be, uh, I have to big, build a pig shelter, so I'm going to do that with them. Um, Here, I'll give you guys a close up of the log. So this was the, the smaller end of this log that was trimmed off. I actually have over behind the tractor here the two beams that I cut the other week. So, uh, but these are, you can see, there's how I laid it out. Um, this side you can see has a little bit of weight on there, but I mean, these are usable two by fours. Um, they're not absolutely beautiful, but you know, rough cut lumber, that's what we, we use them for. We use them for, you know, things around our property, our homestead. Um, I mean, I love this LT15 start saw mill. This thing cuts beautifully. As I can see, you, I've been cutting a lot of pine today. So I cut um, a bunch of two by sixes for the, the rafters in the sawmill shed that I'm gonna build. And then actually there are more two by fours down there in those pieces that I cut off. So uh, this blade is getting dull, even though it was chugging through this, I can definitely tell the difference now, but yeah definitely getting a mouthful of, of pine there um, I really like to keep the lumber stacked on top of the, each other as I'm cutting it also helps me see if there's gonna be any uh, tension in the log as you can see there's really not any this way but when I was sawing I did notice this first one you can see it's butted up on either side and there's a gap in the middle here so that is okay though. I can work with that. Um, I could use these uh, when I build my pig shelter. I'll use these as a roof um, and just put the bow upwards to help out with it. So uh, just just kind of different uses for that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, you guys saw the light shut off on the sawmill. The battery was dying on the walkie battery that I have hooked up to the lights on this mill. Um, I have these lights wired in on this thing. They work really good. I have this little unit in the back here uh, that takes the Milwaukee battery and changes it from, this is actually putting off almost 20 volts down to 12 volts, and this is a 12 volt system. So I got a light back here so I can see how it's going in. And I finally put an hour meter on this thing. I don't know if you guys can see it. 11, 11.1 11 hours on there, yeah. So, but this mill has been running pretty good. So, but been keeping this blade lubricated really well. As you can see, there's no pitch on this blade at all. So you can see pitch on the, on the roller. Oops, sorry. You can see pitch on the roller here, but you don't see any pitch on the actual blade. And don't be deceived. This tooth does not seem sharp, but that gullet right there is extremely sharp. So never rub your finger in there. I always just want to see though, I literally am getting metal here. Uh, I'm using a water and i think it's i think it's ajax uh dish soap in my lubricant take and it is it is cleaning this off i mean there's not a bit of pitch on there so when i send it back for resharp they, they i know they like seeing that this is clean but um sometimes that's not the deal but but yeah so they're actually a really good picture of the mill now haven't got a really good one lately but yeah there you go um these these might actually be getting used in the saw shed, uh, the sawmill shed. I might actually have like the post beams, and then you're gonna have the, like the the standard angled roof, and then I might have like a roof that comes out and angles towards the front, uh, kind of like a drip edge, uh, just for kind of for decoration. Maybe I'll do some wood shingles on it or something. I don't know, um, just to make it look kind of nice. But but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again. Thanks for watching.